Alrighty, it is Tecmo Tuesday, and it is week number 11, I'm sorry, 12, I am, uh, you know, time flies, <clears throat> of Tecmo Tuesday, and we're going to be taking on the Oakland Raiders, my favorite team, and uh, they are just like in 1976, they are in first place, although unlike in real life, they uh, actually lost more than one game. They were 13-1 and that year and went on to win the Super Bowl. So they only, they only lost the one game all season. <clears throat> we are in a one-game lead over the rest of the division, particularly the Lions and Bears. So uh, we're going to uh, try to press on. And by the way, I am, uh, I've made the decision based on the votes that came in when I was asking about what to do about the playoff scenario by default it's a six team playoff on each side and uh the majority uh there were votes in both ways but <clears throat> majority it were in favor of keeping it as it is six teams on each side so that's what i'm gonna do um all right i already auto skipped so let's see how the rest of this week plays out we got bears beating the packers we've got giants losing to i think it was the seahawks washington beat philly Dallas beat the Cardinals, the Lions beat the Bills. So right there, we have both of the teams. I believe it was, uh, I believe they both won. Yeah, they're uh, so they're now Lions and Bears are half game back. So we got to beat these Raiders just to uh, you know to, to stay ahead of them. We don't want to fall into the whole uh, you know to that tie situation, and then we start having to worry about uh, everybody's healthy. Start worrying about. Um, you know the uh, the point differential, which I think we're we're doing way better than both those teams in. So right now, as it is, we're very likely to uh, have that tiebreaker. But I don't want to, you know, rely on it. You know, I want to win the majority of uh, as many games as possible, and not have to. Deal with that bullshit. Plus, this is the whole buy thing. I mean, if we are doing the six-team playoff, then, you know, it's not going to be just about winning the division. You know, getting a buy is big. Oh, they got the snake. Oh, shit, he went deep. Ah, oh, and he's got Belitnikov. I... Fucking, I came back to the short man. I think that might have been Casper that was uh, running that route. He's going back to bullet in a cough and not gonna... Not gonna make that happen this time. They're just throwing the ball here. They, this is like the real Raiders of the mid-70s. Just go deep, baby. That's kind of what their MO was. They, it's just been pass after pass. And they're going to get a sack on them. They are. All right, so we, we're holding them to three here. And they missed wide left. All right. So we not only don't give up a touchdown on the first drive, but we also... Oh, shit. Here they come. We also, uh, they also don't get the field goal, so we have a chance to strike first here. Oh, shit, here comes the cavalry. Oh, man, I tried to throw it to, all right, it's a good thing it was blocked, because I was throwing it to a guy that was covered. I was trying to throw it to the running back. Oh, shit, this is third down. I went with a run to Carter. That's not what I wanted to do, because, uh, uh I, uh, I misjudged it. I thought it was second down. I, I mean, I... Every once in a while, I'll run it on third and medium. Uh, third and six is very iffy, uh, especially when you don't have the fastest running backs. I thought it was second down. That's a that's a complete brain fart on my end. But at least I didn't think it was, you know, third down when it was really fourth down. That can really... But if Tom Brady can do it, make that mistake, anybody can. Uh, I bought that handoff. Fake. Nobody home there. They 
they're running it. Alright. Managed to not get faked out of my wits. Alright, that was a good job by the D-Lyman there, tying him up. And then I could sneak in there and get the tackle. Is Ray Guy the best punter of all time? More or less, you know, it's a... Uh, definitely for the era. There was no... There was nobody even close. Oh, just the defenders just got there in time to to break that up. Ready, down, hut, hut, hut. William Shrug getting off more blokes, making a nice. It could have been third and long, and so that's gonna be third and short. And uh, this is interesting here. Um, I think I'm gonna go up the gut with it. Ready, I got a gut feeling about it. Come on. Damn it! Oh, I thought I had enough. I really did. See if I can keep this in the field of play. All right, that's a good one. Now I'll just keep them from getting to the 20, and they don't. So I would have been better off booting it out of the stadium. Yeah, you want to get it inside the 10. That's, that's, I mean, that's ideally as close to the goal line as possible without crossing it that's obviously the ideal landing spot but if you hit the 10 like that depending on your coverage team and how fast the return man is oh come on really i knew he got it too that sucks i got that i got my, my defender right there but he still made the catch these guys that are open he's gonna run with it though And I was second and short. The thing I hate about playing defense on second and one is that, like, they can do anything. So I don't really like to bunch up and, and, uh, and, and do, oh, shit. Yeah, I, all right, that's not bad. That's not bad. I mean, it's not good. It's, too, it's still too much. But I was afraid he was going to fucking just book it. Because uh, I had taken the safety out of the play. Yeah, they know they got something going with the run here. Um, you know, I try not to defend the run too heavily on second and one in case they do go for the jugular. Because that's a good time to do play action. It's a good time to... Oh, shit! Fumble! Come on! Yeah, alright, we got it back. Alright, so we're getting there. We're getting around to that point of the end of the, of the, end of the first half. Where we might be able to score right before the break. I'm going to take as much time off the clock as possible in each of these plays. Because that's exactly what I want to do. I want to score with... Uh, and we're around midfield, so I'm not worried about time running out on this drive. Oh, you son of a bitch. All right, I'm going to let the time tick here. Not only because I want to score with as little time as possible, but I also don't want to give them the ball with, uh, as much time as possible if we don't convert this. Shit. Alright, it took forever to get there, but we got it there. Alright, now it's starting to get to be the point where I don't want to fuck around too much. You know, I don't want to run out of time either. So it's, uh, I gotta keep caution to the wind. But I think, oh shit, here we go. Come on, Williams, run, run, run. He is not fast. He's not a fast man, but he does shrug off defenders quite a bit. Alright, so... We've got, uh, we definitely can get these three plays off. We just can't dilly-dally. Alright, he's out of bounds. I got there just in the nick of time. Oh, this is tough, though. This is tough. I, I gotta throw these passes quick. Shit, I have to kick it now. Ah. Yeah, definitely not making it getting that playoff in five seconds. But, you know what? We got points on the board. And that's in a tight game like this. No scoring at all up until this point. I'll take it. And then, uh... And there's still a second left. Um, then we get the ball back to start the second half. And we finally get some momentum going offensively. Oh, man. How oh, great would have been to get another one of those fumbles on the return. That would have swung the momentum. I mean, the, the we've, I wouldn't say that we have... 
a huge amount of momentum right now, but it's still kicking. Getting any points is still a big, uh, you know, chalk that one up uh, uh, as a feather in the cap for how this game is going so far. Because it's been uh, it's been tough. They got they had a pretty good drive going, but they missed the field goal. Uh, and then, you know, we had a pretty good drive and we made it. That's pretty much been the difference. It's otherwise been more or less the same. Uh, our, the only difference is we ran out of time uh, in our drive. It wasn't really so much that we got stopped. So I'm pretty happy with how the offense looked coming out of the first half. But I know that they, it's not like, you know, they're, but we're definitely fully capable. Especially when we get these deep passes. They, we see, we haven't been going for them. But, you know, and it gets them, lulls them into that sense of security that we're going to be going short, we're going to be running the ball, and then we catch them off guard with one of those deep passes. It also doesn't help that there hadn't been anybody open on deep either. I mean, that's another thing. The opportunities hadn't presented themselves. And cavalry is coming again. So second and long. All right, big first down, touchdown, right down the fucking middle. And that is huge. I mean, you know, going up, if we would have got stopped and kicked a field goal, then, you know, they're a touchdown away from taking the lead. Now it's a 10 nothing game, and they've got to, you know, score twice. Massive, absolutely massive uh, drive. Alright, so I'm gonna be playing pass defense all the way here. To, if they do dry if they do move the ball, it's gonna be slow going. And you know, it'll eat up clock. Ah shit, I took my guy off it and I did not dive. Thankfully they managed to get up real quick. But I did not hit the damn dive button. There was no reason for me to dive there. I, there was a defender there. Coming in for the dive did no serve no purpose. It's the same play fake as uh that's not the same play as just now. It's, uh, it just looked like it from a uh, certain angle. Look at that. I almost bought the play fake again. Here I am talking about playing a conservative defense and I'm I keep wanting to get aggressive. As the safety, who is like, you know, the last line of defense. They keep doing this play fake. I really should be calling that play. I oh, see again. I did not dive, I, and I admit, it's like, what's the point of diving from like a mile away? You're not gonna reach him either. I'm not hitting that dive button. Sometimes they just the the CPU just takes over, it takes upon it, the, itself to 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 dive for you on your behalf. I, I don't want that. Well, they're matriculating the ball down the field. It's definitely not uh, like. Come on. All right, we broke it up. Um, you know, it's not like I'm playing a prevent defense. I don't think that even exists in this game. It's just that depending on what play you call defensively or, like, uh, what play you call. All right, there we go. We got a nice pick. Wow, so that's the second time they've driven into our territory, got within, within scoring range, and could not uh, get any points out of it. So even if we get held here but we take some time off the clock, that's a big, you know, chunk of... Uh, uh, you know, it's a, that, that, that's a step in the right direction. No oh, man, they, know, they just know what we're going to be doing, though. Doesn't help. All right, let's try to pick this first down up. I don't really want to go three and out here. You know, that's... Oh, God, everybody's covered. Oh, except for McKay down the fucking sideline, but he overshot him by a mile. Ugh. All right, well, so much for that. I mean, it takes a minute off the clock. That's what we basically got out of that. Hey, that time, we kicked it outside the 10, and we still, we got them uh, before the 20. So, yeah, again, it depends. It's not like there's any kind of formula or anything where the guy's going to get tackled in an exact spot. It's, uh, sometimes, it's just, sometimes the dice land a certain way. You can do that run all day. It's not going to, you know, even if it works and you get a first down, 
you can keep those runs going. It's just eating up clock. At 317 left, it's not a lot of time to be scored twice. Definitely worse in Tecmo, too, than it is in real life. 317. Because, you know, you got... I mean, the timeouts exist, but... Um, and then they're gonna, they're gonna go up the middle with Davis, I think. They do have a split back formation. Oh, no, they faked me out. But we still got him behind the line. Man, we have a chance to shut these guys out. And I think... I don't know if they're tops in the AFC, but they, they're, they're, they're definitely up there. They're in that conversation. Yeah, they, they, they've been calling that run play. Quite a bit. All right, let's... Uh, I'm running again. I, I just don't want to... I don't trust Spurrier too much, and um, I want to let the time tick here. Oh, they, what am I saying? They call it, I, I want to make them use timeouts, um, is what I'm saying. So there's still a chance. You know, there's still uh, there's still enough time to, to score quickly and then get an onside kick. But, I mean, it... It's funny they would go. They've been playing. They were playing the vertical game, you know, the old school Raider football early in the game, and now they've kind of toned it down here. They're doing the play fake, which is also not the most. Uh, it's a very conservative pass too, because it's kind of a bad choice of uh, of play action too, because you keep all the receivers in the intermediate level at the at the most. Oh, look at that! Belitnikov makes the catch, and he fucking causes two guys to fall down. Alright, not this time. Not this time. So, 24 seconds left. They just, they might be able to score once here, but they're running out of time, big time. Is that the branch? Yep. Yeah, so they might... This is just the difference between a shutout or a no shutout. And it's going to be a shutout. I cannot believe we took down the... The real life 1976 Super Bowl champions, and we shut them out completely. I mean, you look at these stats too. Um, you know, they definitely outpassed us with 218 yards. We only had 94. Uh, we didn't get a lot of ground game either. You know, we only ran for 55 yards, and they got way more first downs than we did. But there was the interception, and there was the fumble, and there was a missed field goal. We just uh, had a couple of good drives productive drives and got some points on the board and then they failed when they got down there it's a big difference um it's not a good sign either if your quarterback is your leading rusher with 21 yards that's usually not a good sign for success especially in the you know in the 70s pre-78 when the when the rules started to change in favor of the receiving uh position anyway 13 nothing big victory let's simulate the rest of the week and i keep forgetting too to look at the league leaders um because it's uh you know it's it i forget i keep forgetting that it's a six it's not a 16 game schedule it's a 14 game schedule um so the quarter mark which is usually when i go to look to see what the uh what the league leaders look like it's usually around now in week twelve, uh, you know, around around about that, and uh, I hadn't been uh, doing that because I I forgot that, um, you know, by in a fourteen game season it would be like week ten or eleven. Anyway, so our win keeps us a game ahead of the Lions and Bears who are right behind us. Uh, elsewhere in the NFC, the Cowboys are also nine and three and they're a game ahead of the Cardinals, and then you got the Rams at seven and five. At the top of the West, uh, tied with the 49ers. So that's a race there between those two teams. So this also means that we're in uh, line for the bye. Uh, and by two games, actually. So that's really good with two games left. I with a, And with, what is that? They have a 37-plus point differential. And ours is way more, almost 100. 
So, I mean, it's looking really good. It's looking really good for the whole um, the buy. As long as we don't lose out and, uh, you know, and not just, you know, or, you know these teams catching up to us, but the teams in our division is more of a worry uh, as far as messing things up here at this point. Uh, oh, so also the AFC. We've got to check that out. So the Bills are on top at 9-3 and three in the East, while the Patriots are 8-4. and four. Cardinals at six and six, I think have uh, yeah they, they probably don't have a chance to catch up. Steelers are nine and three, and Browns are eight and four, and then you've got the Raiders and Broncos who are in the playoff situation. It looks like it's fairly, yeah, it's going to be the top two in each of these divisions in all likelihood. Bills and Pats, Steelers, Browns, and then Raiders, Broncos. That looks like what's how the AFC is going to line up. Uh, the Rams and Niners. Uh, these three teams, and then those. so it's it's looking as, as of right now, the playoff teams would be Rams, Bucks, Lions, Bears, and then Cowboys, Cardinals. Uh, yeah, because we're gonna do the sixteen playoff. Uh, that's that's the that that's that's been etched in stone now. All right, so the t- look at this, we have the second highest rated quarterback, despite. You know, not having the most yards, it's actually, it's funny, the top two quarterbacks right now as far as passer rating goes with 162 and 147, both of them uh, (laughs) next to or beyond impossible, have less yardage than the next four guys on the list. I actually make that five. And it's, I think it's mostly the percentage and the touchdown or interception ratio. We do not have a lot of picks. You know, I'm talking about Spurrier and Bradshaw. Bradshaw, um, that's the, the way the um, the the passers look. In uh, top receivers, Curtis for the. Bengals is up top there. Let's see where if we have anybody. I don't think so. Well, Morris has 28 catches. That's pretty good. All right, who's the leading rusher? Not one of our guys. Let's see where we line up here. Are we even? We're not even in the top 30. So, you know, it's a committee. We tend to... I mean, I think Williams definitely has the most yards on the team. I'll take a look and see where... All right, so hold on a second. I just want to see where the bottom guy is. 477 is the uh, is the, is the the bottom of the list. And 50, OJ Simpson is 1,533. And he's killing it again. Top punters. I mean, it's... Yeah, we've got 61.2 yard average. who are actually exceeding the... Uh, you know, the best in the business by, like, a 10-yard difference average. Sacks. We've actually gotten more sacks, I think, with these uh, with this team than we do with the Colts usually. But, you know, it's always drones, so they don't really get a lot of sacks. Kick return. Carter's down at the bottom there, 13.4 yards average. Well, Johnson for the uh, Cowboys is way up there at 22. Punt returns. And McKay has 6.4 yards per punt return. So with nine punt returns, we average... You know, I, I, actually, I mean, that's only the returns that he actually gets a return out of. Like, you know, I'm forgetting about um, touchbacks. I don't think those count. Uh, so it's not like we've only forced nine punts. That sounds like less uh, than it should be. Definitely should be more punts because would, that would mean we'd be forced. We, there'd be, what, three games? If, if we forced one punt per game, we would have only four. Uh, then there'd be three games where we wouldn't have given up any punts whatsoever or forced any punts. I think the touchbacks are just not counting in that regard as they shouldn't. And we have nobody in the interception leaders. Four is the uh, is toward the bottom there. And then finally, the leading scorers. Um, we have uh, Roder, our kicker, has 74 points. He's only missed one field goal, and that's pretty good. Uh, a lot of touchdowns. You know, a decent amount of touchdowns when you look at uh, these other kickers. A lot of kickers on this list. They tend to get uh, a good chunk of points. But although the, f- the top 12 guys are not kickers, and then it starts to really heat up with kickers there. 
let's take a look at the rankings. Uh, we are at the dead last in total offense. I think that's... Let's see what is more of the culprit here, though. The, we're 21st in passing, and we're 20th in rushing. So we're not toward the bottom of either category, but we're not, you know, producing a lot in either one of them. Defense. Where the hell are we? 13th in total defense. We're third against the pass, and we're 22nd against the run. So, you know, we're mediocre at everything uh you know passing offense rushing offense uh rushing defense but we are strong in pass defense that's been uh the, that's been big um even though you know this is 1976 uh where the running game was way more important than it would later be it's still it's a it is a it is still it, it, i don't think the rom really uh you know, even though it's got the rosters from 76, the game doesn't really play like 76. Although you could, it definitely plays closer to 76 than the current uh, product does of the NFL. Anyway, um, that'll do it for this week's Tecmo game, Tecmo Tuesday. There's two games left. And next week we go out to, uh, we play against the Steelers, another uh, strong team in the AFC. Again, we're playing all AFC teams. And then the Patriots, we close it out with them. They're also a playoff team as of right now and likely to be a playoff team. So we close, th these last, I mean, shit, we had Cleveland last week who, uh, you know, they're a playoff team. And then today we had the Raiders. So it's the last four games are against uh, playoff teams in all likelihood, all for, you know, from the AFC. So <clears throat> we'll see if uh, if we can make it to the Super Bowl. May, it might be a rematch with one of those four teams. I mean, if it, if it's a if, if we make it to the Super Bowl, we're gonna be playing a rematch against somebody because we played the whole fucking conference due to the uh, schedule the way it was. But anyway, that'll be next week. Um, I showed I did show the standings of the whole thing, so I mean that part of it's complete. That's it for this week. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next week.